Greetings, Warriors of the Ring. My name is Strider656, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back for another adventure through Middle Earth. In this series, I'll be playing random ladder matches on Discord and showing you War of the Ring games from my perspective by only viewing my cards and sharing with you my thoughts and in game reactions while trying to keep the end result a mystery. The other player is aware that I'm making a video as I ask for permission both before and after playing. Hope you enjoy this video and I encourage you to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Today's adventure feature is Backdrifts. Backdrifts has been playing um, War of the Ring on the server for about um, two to three years. Uh, they started in 2020. They said that it feels like it's been a lot longer, uh, but I've only been playing since then because that's the first tournament I played in. Um, their uncle mentioned how some people play online uh, through a Java client. And then he joined the Facebook group uh, where someone linked to the Discord. They played around 100 games online and three in person. Uh, and that is Backdrifts. I, I, met, I met Backdrifts by watching like a video of him playing Ira a long time ago. So I'm excited to play this game. And let's see how it goes. So we decide we're, we're going to play a very quick game here because we played this late at night. Um, so if you look at the chat, it says ready for a fast game. He says, sounds good. And we decide high roll gets a uh, shadow player. And I roll a five. No, he rolls a five. And I roll a one. So he is shadow and I'm free. Uh, so here we go. Let's dig into it. Um, I am free. I draw into Kierden's ships and they're in back again. And we'll see what happens here. I say fellowship okay, he does no eyes. He rolls uh that, which is a character, hybrid, two hybrids, one army, a muster, and a palantir. And I roll this. This would be great if I had cards to cycle. I really don't want to play there and back again right now. Uh so I decide to pass until we're even in dice. That's what I'm thinking. I bet I get very excited. I decide it's late at night. I'm going to draw my strategy card early, and I draw into the red arrow. Also not playable, so not too happy about this draw, but it is a scout. He draws another strategy card. Now I'm going to pass till we're even. Uh, Sarn is at war. I might have missed something and what he was doing. Let's see what he's done so far. I'm trying to look on the board. He looks like he's just moved Sauron, uh, Sauron and Isengard to war. And I think he's drawn some cards. I drew a card. Uh, so I try passing him, but realize I can't. And I draw another strategy card, because I'm not getting anything to play. That one I can play, so I'm hoping, I'm seeing this army, I'm like, please move out of um, <laughs> of Mordor. Not that you're going to, but I would love to see you move out. Ada says the typical moves. Uh, so it looks like he might be going Gondor. But um, I decided I'm going to move the Fellowship first before I play uh, Faramir. And I move, and they are safe. And I bring Saruman in. And I play Faramir. Not ideal, but I wanted to use Gandalf's draw ability and try to get to some better cards. I say not a fish if I need the cards, or I draw to Dane, which I can play next turn if needed. A back trip says rough, two Palantirs, no Gandhi ability. And he's moving up towards the dew line, it looks like. And we go into turn two. Turn two, I draw Bilbo's Song and Fear Fire Foes. I say Fellowship okay. He allocates one eye, rolls three more, two characters, a Palantir, and an army movement. And I roll uh, two Palantirs, a character, and a Will of the West. Um, so we're even on dice. So I'm happy to see this. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to move the Fellowship, hopefully get Gandalf killed to the non-reveal tile. Um, and then uh, we'll see what happens. I don't want to, I want to lose Gandalf for sure here. That's what I start doing. And with the Fellowship, he rolls one dice, he rolls a five. And then I say, he says, sorry. And I say, um, and then he, he rolls a six. Happy to see a six for once. Hoping it's on a reveal. I say, there we go. And he draws a two. So I'm definitely going to lose Gandalf to this. He says, haha. Nice. Now Strider is the guide. He plays the ring as mine. And I bring Gandalf in right away. Just so I can threaten Ents. Your 
realize precisely what he means. Yep. Really nice early Gandalf turn too. And now he moves uh, Far Harad to Near Harad. And now he's going up this way. So now I'm thinking, let me make the north scary. Um, so I'm going to play... I'm thinking of separating a companion here. And this is what I do. I play it. And I move Pippin. And I start by putting him there. That's four. And then I decide to go this way. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but my thoughts are then he doesn't know if I have Book of Miserable or Fear Fire Foes. That's my reason for doing that. And I say that's four, I think. So Pippin, is that Pippin? Yeah, Pippin is uh, venturing home. And we'll see what he does. And now he's activated the north. And now Fear Fire Foes. And Backdrift says totally unexpected. So Pippin has lit the, the beacons for the north. And he's attacking Dale right away. And uh, I see a strategy card, but I'm still going to play my scouts here because I'd rather not die. And let's see if he played Storm of Bats. Drum roll. Did he pick Storm of Bats? Nope. It's a great host. So this is a great dodge by me. So see you later. I say adios. He says nice. And they go to Woodland Realm. And I'm happy to see this uh, because if he attacks Erebor, I have a gift called Dane's, Dane Ironfoot's Guard. He doesn't know that. Uh, so we're going to turn three. So now I have five dice. I feel like I'm moving very slow. Because I am. Because uh, if you look at my statistics, I am currently... I only have rolled two characters in one Will of the West. So I think I'm moving pretty efficiently. So with both my characters I've moved, and with my Will of the West I brought Gandalf in, I'm plus four on Palantirs, which has not helped me, like, at all. I tried a Path of the Moses and File of Galadriel. Too bad I didn't get file first, and I could have played that with those um, those things. Uh, he allocates one eye, rolls no more, and I roll some characters. This is good because I want to move a lot, and I'm going through Moria here. Uh, so my plan is to um, move everyone in to faint that I don't have Bane and move these guys to Westamnet to start. He's moving from Ranan to Dagger Lad. Ooh, he changed his mind. He's doing it again, and he's moving to Umbar, which shows he's probably gonna. He probably has corsairs, but there's nothing I can do about it. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Uh, so I pass. Witch King comes in, but he comes in to, um, to here, to Dale, which I'm happy to see, um, because if he was here, I'd be worried because then he could just attack, attack, and move into Gondor. Everyone flips. I pass, and he moves the Southrons and Easterlings down. It's, but he can't bring them to war, though, because because I didn't give him a ring, um, he, he can't do much. Because I thought about using a ring earlier. I didn't say it um, in order to move the Fellowship more. But I think starving the shadow of, of rings is a smart idea. So now I'm thinking I'm going to put Fire of Gladriel in the pool. Or I could uh, use Dane Ironfoot's guard. Um, but I decided to move the Fellowship first, which I do, and he misses. Another one. I say, phew, I hate that third move. He says, ha, sta, still got a chance on the fourth. And then I say, on the fourth, I can't be revealed 50,000 times. Because if you get revealed in Moria, it, I've I've played games where you're drawing like three or four tiles in there. And I'm good. Uh, he says, true, true. And now he's moving uh, north. What is he doing? Oh, so he moved up in East Rune and here. But these guys I'm not scared of. They're not even at war yet. So he can go there all he wants. I'm not worried about that that force. And I just have to move the fellowship again. And this time I am missed. So good luck for the fellowship. And now he's moving up and towards here. So I don't know what he's going to do with these characters here. I mean, he might attack into Woodland Realm. He might just bring them up. I don't know. He might attack here. So at this point... I'm going to play Five Galadriel to, to react later to see what he does. Because if he attacks, um, if he goes up here to Erebor, I'm going to play um, Dane Ironfoot's card using this action. Uh, so the Fellowship puts the file in the pool. Ooh, he attacks Woodland Realm. So I go into Siege. I'm going to claim Dale. He says, thank you. 
and I move Gondor down because this way, if he attacks, then I can get a muster up. And I can also muster twice next turn, potentially, to prevent um, Corsairs to, of, of being just a three-person uh, stack. He plays Give It To Us. Is that in the pool? Going to turn four. I draw into Challenge of the King and Riders of Theoden. Um, Riders of Theoden, I'm sad because I've already moved that Gondor force. And they're not as full. Uh, he allocates one eye. And rolls no more. And I roll four movement and a muster. I'm happy to see this. I think in a previous game I played, I didn't get any movement on one eye. This is great. So I'm going to move a lot. So I think. And he says, Wild Knight passes. I want to save this muster for when he attacks. So, I mean, I would I would have liked to see more musters. But at the same time, this I'm not sad about this. And now he moves the South Rounds and Easterlings down, so there's, there's nothing I can do. So my plan before was to muster Gondor down, which I would have done first, and then I would have put an Elite here. But I can't do that. And here comes Corsairs, which I knew about. I didn't know about I just guessed. But I'm happy they all moved out. So you know what I'm smelling? I'm smelling the military victory potential here. I pass again. Because what I could do is I could use this to move these guys down. And but and then move these guys out towards here, but we're not even at war yet. So I pass. He thinks he decides to take Dol Amroth out, which makes sense as I have Kierden waiting to go, but Kierden can't be used yet since the elves aren't at war. So I was hoping he was going to attack Woodland Realm. Um, but I decide to play uh, Daylight here, and he gets no hits. And I get no hits. He press uh, he presses. I laugh. I say okay. Uh, he has no card. I do no card. Nothing I can really play here. Yeah, absolutely nothing I can play. It's one. I get one. And now he press. He no cards. He gets one, one. Uh, so I survive. He says survived, <laughs> which is funny. Um. I say for now, he says, Haha, because let's I'm, I'm not going to I can't do anything to defend that. So now we're even on dice. So it's time to move the fellowship. I move. Uh, he gets a five really close, but no cigar for him. Um, now he attacks D A. I say L. I should have done LOL in different areas. Now I see a strategy card come out. There's nothing I can play again here. Um, he plays. I, I like to see fighting Urukai. This is great news for me. Because now I know he can't do free presses in Rohan. So Strider's happy. Uh, the guy in, D in DA definitely is not happy right now. Especially because he just died. So he's dead and no hits back. So he's at three. Uh, fellowship movement time. It's another miss. He says safe hunt. Happy to see that. Uh, let's see what he chooses to do here. He's mustering up in Moria. So he's probably coming out to Lorien. Nothing I can do about it the fellowship again and he finally hits on step seven and it's a reveal so he's revealed me out of the of um of rivendell so here i go it says woo i take the corruption and i go one two three four five six seven to druidane forest and my thoughts are that way i can always separate if needed because this is a nice central location to some action and also i don't want to move anywhere near these guys or these armies Let's see what I draw into. Uh, two reveal. Happy to see the reveal out of the pool. Um, but I'm going to take a... I was thinking of taking a random. But again, my rule is no randoms until I'm at four. And now... Uh, he moves the guy into Umbar. I'm kind of sad because I was thinking of doing a surprise move because his muster is gone. I'm like, oh, you're moving. So now it's gone. Uh, so I decided to just muster up in Carrick to be annoying. Because what's the point of, of Fear, Fire, Foes if I'm not going to use the muster ability, right? Um, and now he plays Shadows on the Misty Mountains. And I moved, I flipped the Fellowship to end the turn. He moves Nazgul around the board. So I can see where he's definitely attacking up here next. Next turn. Uh, let's see what I draw into. I have five cards currently. I'm going to draw 
This is turn five. I draw into Wizard Staff and Book of Miserable. No brainer. Wizard Staff is gone. Uh, goodbye, Wizard Staff. I say okay. He allocates one eye. And I'm hoping for um, for some movement here. Actually, I'm hoping for some military shenanigans, possibly. Um, actually, military not yet because I don't feel this force is enough to take them out. So now moving the fellowship right away because he has all his troops are at war, uh, and he misses on the initial roll and the re-roll is a miss. Let's see what he does. Moving armies up and out here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to pass for a while. He BRBs, but I think about it. And I'm thinking I want to make the north really annoying. So as much as I want to put troops here, I decide um, to muster some elites in Carrick. Because Carrick, they're like, they're gonna, they're gonna, they want revenge on Dale. And they can eye a military victory right here. I say party in Carrick. He says concerning. And he brings another elite to Moria. I pass. And he musters. What's he doing? Musters up an Orthanc. So now I, I don't have a lot of forces in Rohan. So now I'm going to just move them to make sure HD is full. Because I played a game recently where that wasn't full. And this is better for me, I think. And plus you could think that I have Ents. I have no Ents. So now he moves everyone to Dale. And everyone's out. So they're probably going here. I pass. And now he attacks Lorien. And the elves move down. So now I'm thinking I'm going to use this action to... Well, let's see what I do. See the order. Uh, so I muster another elite into Carrick. And he attacks Wilden Realm. So now the, the elves are at war. Um, because I see a strategy card, I'm definitely going to play Advantageous Position. Which I do. Uh, let's see what he plays. So I'm hoping for some kind of like modifier role thing. That will benefit me. And it's Relentless Assault. So this is great. I'm like, yeah, kill your guys. So I say, ha, LOL. He says, ha, ha. He says, no, no onslaught. He meant Relentless Assault then. So I protected one hit from my, or possibly four hits from myself there. If I didn't play it. Because he would have killed two probably. Um, But he only got two there. And I uh, get one back. And I just decide to kill the elite. He presses. And now I'm going to play a sudden strike. Probably path of the, probably challenge of the king. And he plays a deadly stripe. So I'm thinking it would be great if he missed. If he misses, that would be amazing. Probably not going to happen. I get my I get two hits. And does he roll? Oh, it's a sudden strike. I'm so sorry. I was, I was so confused. So he gets this too. I was hoping that a miss would happen. That I could sort you out and be funny. With a sudden strike. Um, and uh, we both get two. But he only has one guy left there. So that's really weak. And I'm thinking I can always use this to retake here. And now I play Kyrdan uh, in Pilar gear. So it's nice. So that army's harder to, to hit. Plus, I can always um, have them join forces. And I can always march into um, Mordor. He plays Black Captain Commands. So, good to see this out of the pool. Uh, but it's not going to be it's not gonna be good news for Lorien here. So it's okay, attack. And I play my Sudden Strike here. And he plays Dread and Despair. Uh, but my Sudden Strike is ineffective. So let's see what happens. He forfeits two. Uh, and no hits in the combat, none on the reroll. He says rough. And I got one hit back. So I'm happy that I got a hit. But, you know, I'd like to get more. He presses with Witch King. I have nothing I can play. I could always play Valor here. But again, I don't. I want to keep Dane in hand as a surprise. Uh, I just noticed he plays Candle. He played Candle of Corpses there. That's good to know they didn't use it um, on the Fellowship. 
because that would have hurt. I do no card, and I was playing Balrog. This sucks. Let's see how the Balrog is doing today. Uh, he says, nice draw. Uh, but he got two. That hurts me. And I just... Um, how did I take that? Yeah, that's right, I think. And um, he got no hits. And I got three back, which is great. And he decides to kill. He wants to be safe. We go into turn six. I mean, I would love to be in Mordor right now. I'm not. I draw into Gua here and threw a day and a night. So now I'm thinking, oh, it's military time. Uh, because I'm going to definitely be able to move um, Gandalf here. Or one of my companions here. Uh, just to take this out and then take this out. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. That's the, that's my thoughts right now. So I decided to move the Fellowship here into its Gilead. So I say thinking hard here. But I mean, there's, what, there's nothing really to think about. I think I, I I think I was thinking to to um to declare a minus here so cool weather doesn't hurt me if I get pushed back it doesn't matter um two because you always want to keep the ring movement as my initial action so the fellowship is now in us Gilead we end up disconnecting we reconnect uh, realize it looks good he allocates one eye I say fellowship okay and I see this roll for him and it's a good roll. I was hoping for all eyes, um, and I roll this. This is not good enough for a military uh, shift, but it's good enough to keep moving the fellowship. So he says, not ideal if you were planning on sniping a free people military victory. And I move the fellowship. He rolls, misses. I said, LOL, why would I do that? Probably because I was thinking of it is why I would do that. Backdrifts, you were right if you're watching this. I did plan to do a military shift. Especially because with through a day and a night. Because I could have um, on attack, attack here, and then play through a day and a night and then take out one of these for free. Um, he draws a strategy card. And I, I just want to get into Mordor. And he does hit me. It's a zero reveal. And I'm hoping, please, please draw an eye here. Please draw an eye. And he draws an eye. Great news for the Fellowship. So we're in Minas Morgul. And I don't, worry, I don't have to worry about cruel weather at all. But it's hill trolls, which makes Lorien look dangerous again. And nothing I can really do here. I could always play Gua here and put Gandalf here, but I feel like that would just put him in killing territory. Uh, so I decided to flip the Fellowship. And now he's attacking Lorien. Do I have anything I can play? And this is where I make my decision... That I'm not going military and I play my through a day and a night. And um, he gets one hit on himself and gets two. And nothing on the reroll. So he says two and one self plus leader. Which is incorrect. Um, and I roll two. Uh, which is three. And I say three for me. He says yep. I said I know you're thinking about it. Playing it safe. He says leader kill, by the way, black breath. And I say it has to hit in the reroll because that, that's the point of the black breath. Because the re the, the idea is the um, after the reroll is the Nazgul hitting instead of the regular units. Uh, he says, oh, yeah, thanks. No problem. LOL. So he's a one. He's probably, did he press? Oh, no, he didn't. He played it safe. So he draws for the Witch King. Uh, I pass. And now he's going for Lorien again. Uh, and he gets his hit. And I don't get anything back. So he's at seven before I'm in Mordor. So this does not look good for me. So let's see where he was going to get his final points. Uh, but I have this army that can retake potentially. So I like this threat here. And I have this army that could always go to retake. But we'll see what happens. What he chooses to do. So he decides to put a tile in the pool. Um, I decide to play Gua here. Um, to try to get some people out of the fellowship. Uh, but I think for a while about this, and then I decide not to. Then I decide. Then I think about doing it again, and again I decide not to. And instead, I draw a character card, which is I will go alone. Uh, he plays a new power is rising, so now I can see he's going to get his. Now there's a clear path. 
He's going to go for Rohan for 10. And uh, I decide to muster leaders up in um, in Carrick and in Pilar gear so that I can use a character action also to attack. And I'm not just uh, hoping for a 1 out of 6 hybrid. Thinks for a while here. And he decides to move towards my army and move these guys down. So let's see what happens here. We're in turn 7. Uh, I draw into Smeagol and the last battle. We make our pool. Hunt pool right now, if you can see it. It looks pretty... A lot of the reveals are out of the pool. But there's a lot of red tiles. So he allocates an eye, rolls two more. And I roll this. So my first thoughts are, is there a way he can get a military victory in this turn? And thankfully, I haven't given him a ring. So he could buster in the Witch King. And then he... Or the Witch King. The mouth use this. So he has one, two, three, possibly four attacks. So one, two, three. Probably not enough to win this turn. Um, we could try attacking here, but I like that I have this. So I'm going to see what... I'm going to move right away. And notice what I've learned too. I'm not putting the blue tile in the pool. I'm going to move. And I draw two. Um, I'm going to draw a random because I want to get to Gollum. And I draw Gimli. Perfect. He says, nice. So Gimli uh, took a sacrifice in uh, Mordor. And he decides to muster up an Orthanc to make that more ridiculous. Uh, I said move the Fellowship again. And I draw an I. So I think about it. This would be a four reveal. But I don't want to lose Strider's ability to hide the reveal. So I decided instead of take instead of taking the corruption just to do random. So I'm, I'm thinking, please not Strider. And please not a Hobbit. It's Legolas, which is good. So I'm at five corruption and I flip. And now he brings the mouth in. I flip the fellowship. He thinks. What's he going to do here? So now I know I'm, I probably, I'll get another turn. So he draws a strategy card. Um, now I decide, here's my thoughts on this. I'm going to play I Will Go Alone just so that I can uh, tank more corruption if I hit it with an I because I'm going to move again. So that's my plan. So I decide to kill Boromir um, so I can move back on corruption and then that way I can take all four, I can take, I can I can block more damage to an I. Uh, so he moves everyone out. And he's still worried about Ents, so he leaves those two back. And he moves everyone to Lamedon. And now I pass, and he plays Shadows Lengthens. So that makes sense why he did that. So he moves four there, and where else is he going to move? Oh, oh, that was nice. He moved those two into Orthanc. Nice protection. Again, I don't have Ents. So here it comes my Fellowship move. Um, let's look at the Hunt Pool, because we i just been drawing. So you can see... Um, I'm hoping for a non-reveal would be nice. Like a one would be fantastic. Or the negative two would even be even better. But I'm just hoping no eye. And there are five eyes in the pool currently. Let's see what he draws. Or are there four eyes? Four eyes. Here we go. I move the fellowship again. And I draw one reveal. This is good. Because uh, I still have Strider as guide. So I take the damage. Did I take the damage? Um, I don't think I took the damage. I should be at five. We'll see if it makes a difference as the game goes on anyway. We'll see. So now he attacks Helm's Deep, and yeah, we're going under siege here. So I'm just hoping um, to get enough movement this turn. I should be at five corruption. So we're going to turn eight. I draw into power two great. Uh, two, one turn too late. Or is this two, this is two turns too late, I think. And I draw the last, and I draw, um, what did I draw for a character? Did I draw one? I did. I drew House of the Stewards to get rid of it, because it's not going to help at all. Uh, so he allocates an I, um, and rolls this. So he's got a lot of actions here. Uh, and, ooh, look at that roll. So thankfully I got one movement. But if he, if he, if he pulls a tile that's red, I'm, um, it's not good for me. So I start by hiding the fellowship, and uh, he says, just enough. 
unless I get a stop. Let's see what he does first. Um, he decides to start moving out to take Edoras, and then he moves it moves Rohan down again, and he moves the control marker to C, and then until Amroth where it should go. He says not much else to do. He just moves his guys um, here. Now I'm going to move the fellowship, hoping for not a red. Uh, let's look at the at the at the possibility of that. So it's a three and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, three and thirteen. Then he draws a red. And he draws an eye, which is not painful at all. So I go up in corruption. I should be at six right now. And he draws a character card. I said, I hope it's flocks of turd bane. Because that, that card's awful. He laughs. He says, maybe. And now I flip the fellowship. And let's see if he has a card that's going to do something to annoy me. Like flip me. He says, okay, let, uh, let's at least take Helm's Deep. Just for my stats. And he plays Ring Razor Abroad. And I decide to play Daylight. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. And I thought that was the attack. And I put it back. I say, oh, no, LOL, you didn't see that. It's all good. So I put it back in my hand, but it's going to look glitched from now. So I played Dane Ironfoot's guard here. I know you can't see it on your screen. That's fine. I'll just tell you. I played Dane for Valor because he's definitely not going Erebor here. And he plays Black Breath. Um, he gets two hits in the combat. And I get two because of Valor back. So he presses for the, and draws for the Witch King. And now I play the last battle here. And he plays Cruel Weather. So I'm curious. Um, I'll ask in a second. And he misses. Misses. So these four Gondor units or, or Rohan units are scared right now. They're probably going to sacrifice themselves, but we'll see. I get two hits back. And I write 12 by accident. <laughs> he says 12. Jeez. Um... And he's pressing again because he wants it's for stats. And I said, why don't you draw Cruel Weather? He says, just now. Uh, now he's playing another strategy card. So I'm probably going to play No Quarter here, which I do. He plays Devilry of Orthanc. Um, and gets one, two hits. And I get th uh, four back. So I'm hoping that hoping this, this ends and I, I survive it. He presses. Uh, no card. He's gonna. What players are you gonna play? Ooh, great host. He just needs one hit here. One six. Nothing on the on the initial roll, and he got two on the reroll. So great host isn't even needed, and I get nothing back. So now he's at nine. So he's definitely gonna win if I don't win here. Um. So I decide right away because I don't want need any any reveals. Um. If I was to draw, if I was to be like put this in the pool, it would waste potential. So I'm moving. He says, stop, please. And I give him my first ring of the game. And I go into Mount Doom. Uh, let's see the chances again. Well, he, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. So I have a 75% chance of winning. We'll see what happens. And he draws. Drum roll, everyone. He says, need that red tile. Drum roll again. He says, show me red. He draws a three. Strider dies. Um, the corruption should be at um, six here. I said that was nail biting. OMG. I don't know if you can tell by watching the game, but when I was playing this, I was terrified because I could have gone military in the middle. I think I made the right choice, um, but I'm curious what your thoughts are. So if you think I should have made the shift, let me know. Um, but let's look at the stats anyhow so you can see how, how things went. Uh, let me just change my screen. I'm going to change it first here. I know you see randomness. View statistics. There's my stats. Um, so pretty average, I think. I mean, he was minus two on sixes. I was minus one. And um, I didn't roll many Wills of the West at all. I rolled it when I needed it, though. Otherwise, I might not have gotten Gandalf the, or the white. So... 
Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Backtrips for this game. Thank you so much for playing. And if you're watching, please um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love to read all the comments and read your thoughts. Again, my curious, what I'm curious about is would you have shifted to a military victory? Uh, or would you have mustered as much as I did in Carrick before moving out? So that's what I'm curious about. Um, and hopefully I see you guys in the future. If you if you see me on Discord, please hit me up and we'll play a game. I'd love to feature you in Adventure like I featured Backdrifts and the community at large. And um, next week, I plan on possibly releasing a video about um, a cool achievement that I saw. And maybe we'll get into some tournament stuff and maybe we'll do some more... Um, adventure videos but thank you all for watching thank you for all of your support and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone